Welcome to the era of AI. All right, hello and welcome back. In this lecture, I'll make you one of the biggest gifts of all. Now, normally when people try to create websites, they usually, or for free that is, they usually use Google websites. Now, of course, Google Sites is amazing. I have nothing against it. And as a matter of fact, you can really rank for a Google site. If you can write an article, uh, and if that article is pretty good, if you've done your keyword research and found that it's possible to rank for that article and it's profitable, you can really do very well for yourself. Uh, but in our case, in this particular instance, we're going to be focused on uh, helping you create what we call a bridge page. And a bridge page is nothing more than a page where people can come to where they are motivated to click a button. And the reason why we build bridge pages is because most social media platforms don't allow to promote an affiliate product directly, especially when it comes to popular platforms like ClickBank. Um, and I found this hack, which allows you to create pages like these. And if you create an ad on Pinterest or whatever you created at, if people click this button, Pinterest doesn't have much of a problem with that. Facebook doesn't have much of a problem with that because that is a, a, a your website, okay? So let's get right into it. Let me show you this hack. Now, this is a, a, a program on ClickBank. It's called the 16,000 with working plans. And if you can com convert people to buy this, you will make about, I think, $55 commission as of now. All right, so here I'm gonna go to Canva and basically click the button, create a design. And as usual, you need to go and search for a website and then click the website button to start a website. It's as simple as that. Now, since this is about woodworking, I would think it would be fit to put a background of, about woodworking. So the good thing about Canva is that it contains a lot of images. Now, before adding any image whatsoever, I would recommend you that you click the background itself, this, this one right here, and that you go ahead and then just change the background color to a darker color. I'll tell you why later. Now, if you go to elements, look for wood, right? So if we look for wood, there's a lot of wood that we can find. Depends on what picture you want to use. If you go to photos, you can even use videos if, you, if you're interested in videos. But in my case, I think a photo would do just fine. Now, pick the image you like. Now, in my case, I think I'll be going with this one right here. And then I'll just take this image right like this. And I'll basically just try to grow it from this side. And I will go ahead and just decrease the transparency option by enough so that we can, when we write something on top, we can clearly see it. Now, what we want to do is we want to create a very small thumbnail, woodworking thumbnail, or we can just look here for some images, right, on the other one, that is woodworking plants, woodworking plants. There's a bunch of uh, images about woodworking plants and also videos about woodworking plants. I could use a video, I think would be interesting. So we could click this one, for instance. And as you can see, this is a video. I could go and make sure that I scale it down just enough and place it around the center. I think I need to make it just a little bit smaller and place it in the center. All right. Now, this video right here is not meant for people to watch. They're meant to click the button. But the video itself, I can go ahead over here on the border. I could add a border weight of some, maybe 10, 20, whatever you want to add. And you can even add rounding if you're interested in it. I'm not going to do that in this case. And I could also control the color of the border, make it red for YouTube. Now. I'm going to go ahead over here and let me show you that you can find buttons or you can create your own. Now, if you want to find a button, now in this case, I've used get all the plans now. So I created my own button and you can do it like this. So just go and add a heading. And now you can take this particular heading right here and you can say, get all plans today. Right. And then what I could do is I could go ahead and go to effects. Now there's a specific effect, which is the background effect. And it helps you apply a different color to the background of this button. And you can also control the spread. You can control the roundness. And now all of a sudden we have this button. 
Now this button, you can link it, you can click, you can click on the text right here and you can go to link and you can place your affiliate link. Say that this is my affiliate link from uh, ClickBank. I can come over here and paste it and click done. And of course that adds that little underline, which you can remove by just simply clicking over here, removing the underline. And at the top, now this says 16 woodworking plans. You can just copy text from here as it is. Come back here and paste it. And you can clearly see it says 16,000 woodworking plans. I can make it a little bit bigger. I can drag it somewhere here. Make sure it's in the center. I could also go to effects and use a different effect like this, for instance. Now, maybe not, not so much. I could just uh, tone down the, the, the darkness. And I could click here on the color. And you can cho choose a color that's, let's just say, orange. And here's a trick for you. You can duplicate it more times and you can put one on top of the other just so you can solidify it, make it look almost like something that you can touch with your hands. And now you can take this and group. Now what do we have more, right? Announcing the world's largest collection. You can copy this as well. You can come down here, move this to the bottom. You can come at the top, place your text. Now this is text, I'll make it white. And I'll also go over to effects, I'll choose the dark effect and I'll just increase the shadow and I'll just go ahead and uh, try to put it in two separate lines, but make sure that we decrease the size of it and we can place it right here. But then again, I think we can just go and put it all in one line and that's pretty much that. Now we can just make it just a tiny bit smaller so that we can fit it with the rest of the design and now just place it like so. There you go. Now I can select everything, put it down. And if you want, you can select this element and remove the bold effect from it, but that wouldn't be necessary. Let's just keep it like that. And there you go. Now here, just to show people that this is something they can click, we can go ahead and look for an element about video. So we can go and look for video. And for example, we can select this element or the YouTube element, whatever you want to select is up to you. You can reduce it just to create that illusion that this is a video and that's pretty much that and this also counts as a website you can call it brit or ted's woodworking plan website and now you can go drive some traffic to this using ads and when people come your affiliate link is here and you can just publish this website for free all right now they're saying remove incompatible okay I, I see i think this is the incompatible text it's because of the effect right here. So I'm going to move uh, move it or change the effect to none. And I can solve it easily by going back here and taking a shape like this, which I can resize however I like. I can put it in the background. I could just go ahead and uh, click the color, switch it to yellow. And also with this shape, just to ensure that whenever people click here, they're going to go to the link. I could also link to the shape link to the text and the shape. Let me go back for the hop link, come back right here, paste and done. And that's pretty much it. So now this is clickable. This is clickable. You can also make this one clickable if you'd like. So I can click right here. I can go to link. Well, where is it? Click. Yeah, that's a video. I cannot link it. I should have added an image, but if I click this one, I can link, I can link this one and click done and that's pretty much it. So now if I publish the website, it's going to be a fully functional website. Now they're asking me to select a domain. I'm gonna select my free Canva domain and publish this for free. And this is a free website. And the good news is that you can make money from it whenever people click it and go on to purchase. Now let me view the website for a second. And as you can see, this is what the website looks like. And it looks legit, you know, looks really good. And this is clickable. If I click, it takes me to the offer, as you can see, and it's working. And uh, it looks pretty good in a very fast time, fast amount of time. No Elementor, no WordPress, no hosting. That shouldn't stop you from creating bridge pages and starting to promote your affiliate offers. Wishing you the best as always. Passive Income Gen Z signing out.